In this session, I'm going to take a look at some of the raster tools that are available directly in CorelDRAW for editing your grayscale images or color separations. We'll take a look at two tools here. We know that Simple Steps Raster is really going to convert our color separations to grayscales, and then we convert those to monochrome, and then we apply the color to it, and then we're able to get a perfect recreation of our color separations in color, and it's also color manageable. We can color separate, etc., because it's a mon monochrome. It has the properties of vector. It's inverted. Your foreground is your outline color, and your background is your fill color. But let's take a look at some of these tools here, because we're going to need to be able to edit or adjust our color separations many times after we've worked with them because we might want to make a color more vibrant. We might, might make a color less vibrant. We might want to make our white highlight less powerful. And we can do some very effective adjustments working with some very simple tools in CorelDRAW. I've got a grayscale bitmap set up here on screen. I've got that selected. I'm going to go to Effects, Adjust, and Tone Curve. This is a very powerful tool that we can work with to adjust our grayscale color separations. If I left click I'm going to go ahead and lock my preview here. If I left click, hold down, drag this down towards the right, I'll start to make my image darker and you'll see that these start to get darker. If I left click, hold down and drag it up to the left, it'll start to make my image lighter, as you can see there. Now I'm going to go ahead and go from here, I'm going to click on reset. I'm going to take a look at, instead of working as a curve, we'll come over here and change to a straight line. Now, as this straight line functions, you can see you've got lighter to darker, lighter to darker. That represents where you're making effects in your tone curve. If I drop a node, say, here at the top, and then I come here and we pull this down like this, I'm going to make the lights darker. And you can see what we did. We affected the colors in here. But we didn't have any effect on the darker colors. If I click here and put a node, and then we take another node and pull it over the other way, we're going to make the darks lighter. As you can see right there. Now watch. See? Some of the darks got lighter. If I want to make the darks darker, I come down here, down to the right. You can see how that pops over, but we'll come in here right about there. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking this shade of gray and pulling it down into a darker depth. So we can see how that works. Now you want to spend some time experimenting with this. You can make your own banded black to white fill and just get a feel for what happens when you work with this tool. Very powerful tool for making adjustments and tweaks to your color separations after they've been generated by Simple Steps Raster. I want to hit cancel here. Now one of the things we also want to be aware of is we do have an eyedropper here in Corel and we can look at different values of gray and color. Now let's say I had done a separation and my red came back that the gray was 76 where I really wanted it to be 100 percent black. I can adjust that with my sample target balance. Very easy to do. Effects, adjust, and I'll go to Sample Target Balance. Now Sample Target Balance, I'm going to say that my target is black, but in my separation all I got was perhaps a 70% gray. So all I do with this tool is come over here, click on the 70%, click on Preview, and we'll see that now we've gotten our grayscale to where that 70 is 100% black or zero gray. Another powerful tool to make adjustments. Let's say you're doing a spot color separation and your red comes back separated, but it's only 70% uh, black. Well, you use your sample target balance and boom, it's 100% black and it's ready to go out for color separation. One of the things you'll need to be aware of is the fact that when you're dealing with grayscales, and we'll take a look at this and then we'll wrap. I'm going to go to simple steps here. I'm going to go to separations. So I'm going to convert this to halftones. So I'll go up here and we'll go to halftones. I'm going to go with 45, I'll go with 22.5, and I'm just going to click on Generate Separations. Because if you have any color that you want to be solid black when you're dealing with raster, when you're outputting your separations, it's not. It's going to come back with halftones. So that's why you want to be aware of your sarp target sam sample target balance and your tone curve, because that's where you can take these colors, even when you're working with simple client-supplied art, 
because as we saw when we did the Pizza Hut logo, that was exported as a PNG, but it wasn't 100% black, and we needed to make that 100% black, so we got 100% black on the other side of going through Simple Steps Raster. I'll go ahead and close this, and you can see what happens here. We'll zoom in. Here's the 90, 80, 70. These come in as dots. They're not solid 100% black, as you can see here. And if we zoom in here, what we're going to see is we're going to see dots, or halftone dots, as you can see right there. And what happens is, is that the simulation of grayscale is created by the density of the dots. And then what happens is that density or simulation of grayscale, the colors are mixed and blended together to create the illusion of color on a garment. Because when you're standing two feet away from something, you can't see the dots, so the colors just blend together. Go ahead and wrap here, but these are the tools and things you want to be aware of relating to editing and managing your color separations after you've generated them with Simple Steps Raster.